So it's not really makeup related today. It's kind of like opportunity related, but I was reading an article last night and I was making some notes. Hey, Patricia. And I'm just like, this sounds like a lot of people that I've talked to. And I was like, let's just talk about this. So I'm sorry. I'm really feeling my look right now. I did. I had to do four selfies and like build on the look each time. <laughs> Final look feeling flawless. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Lori. So a defeatist mindset is what keeps a lot of people from like going for it. Um, it keeps them stuck where they are because thanks Patricia. I'll have to do a live on it because it's like yellow, orange, and red. My hair is like somewhat cooperating. My hair is curly and crazy and today it's like I'm going to do good today. Who knew? So defeatist mindset is basically you're going to give up before you even started. You are in your head saying no I can't I can't even do that so I'm not even going to try. That is like taking so much potential out of your life you have no idea. No idea. Um, you always end up finding like the negative in every situation. Hey Ashley and you are going to be a Debbie Downer all your life if you just find the negative in everything. You know what was it? I'm trying to think of one instance where I used to be like this a lot. I We would go out and something would go wrong and I would lose my, my shit. I would be so mad because it didn't go the way it was supposed to. So then my mood would be brought down. I'd bring everyone down with me because I was upset about one little thing that didn't go right. Sorry. That's ridiculous to me. Okay. So you are limiting yourself to a very small box. Thank you, Patty. Um, of a life. You're not even going to be able to enjoy your life to the fullest because you don't go out and try something new because you're like, mm -mm, it's not going to work anyway. It's fine. Hey, Molly. So that is a defeatist mindset. Okay. Hey, Sharla. So let's see. The biggest thing with this mindset, and I've had to learn it because I still have it sometimes. I'm not going to lie. You have to change your outlook, you know, be like, oh, let me find my notes. I'm already brain farting. A big thing, let's rewind. A big thing I hear when I uh, approach people about pharmacy is, well, I don't know how to do makeup. And thank you, Lori. Do you like skincare? Because we have skincare. Hey, Madison. Do you have a baby? Because we have a baby line coming out. Do you like hair care? Because we have hair care. Do you have a husband? Does he like beard oil? Does he have a beard? We have oil. You know, there's so many different things that we are. It's not just makeup and you don't have to be a makeup artist to do this. Y'all, this is like two years of practice. And it's honestly, my brows are still uneven. My lashes aren't on, right? They're poking me in the eyeball, but you know what? I'm still on here. I still sell this because it's amazing and I really don't care. It is what it is. Hey, Annie. Yes, Patricia. See, I struggle with it too a lot. Sometimes. Sometimes I really do. Other times I'm like, get out of your head. So, two pages. So, a big thing is failure is always a learning opportunity. If you never fail, you're never going to learn. So, you're going to be stuck in your little box, not learning anything new. And then when you get really old, you're just going to be like, wow, what a nice life I lived. No adventure, no risk taking, not learning anything new, just sitting in your little box, wondering what could have been because some people you know took a leap and joined an opportunity and are now on vacation owning a boat somewhere. Fingers crossed, not me, <laughs> not yet. You know, so successful people have really thick skin. You know, they go out, they fail. They're like, okay, whatever, brush it off and they move on. Like they're able to just jump right back up spin around a little bit and continue on. Okay. That's, that's really it. You know, have a thick skin. You know, if you go out and fail, you go out and fail. It's not the end of the world. Like when I left my old company and joined this one, I was like, I have nowhere to go, but up honestly, you know, if I join and no one buys it, no one joins me. His iPad is so loud. It is what it is. At least I got a 50% discount on some cool makeup. Thank you, Charlotte. They look like super like green today. Hey, Bubba, can you leave for a minute? I'm on a roll. I'm starting to sweat. It's hot. No, nothing. 
Anyway. <laughs> and successful people also take responsibility for the results that they get. So, you know, a defeatist, they're always finding something wrong. Something always goes wrong, so they're scared to do anything. You know, they blame other people for their mistakes. Successful people take that responsibility that, oh, I messed that up. That's my fault that they didn't join my team. Or that's my fault that I missed that promotion because I was sitting on my ass and not doing anything. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Um, so if you have a defeatist mindset, you're not going to live a full life. You're not going to find joy in anything really, because you're always going to be looking for the bad. You're, you're a Debbie Downer. You're Debbie defeatist downer. There we go. You have a middle name now and it's defeatist. Hey Zoe. So, you know, take that leap, join that company, go skydiving like you wanted to, but you're like, no, it's not going to go well. I'm not going to have a parachute parachute it's gonna be fine I was gonna say the worst thing could happen but I'm not going to my life you guys so again you know just go out there and try something new if you fail you fail it's not the end of the world hey Sarah you know I failed with plenty of things you know I I have failed relationships that did not go well and you know what some of it was my fault some of it was not but some of it was you know, I didn't succeed at my last company. So, some of it was issues with the company. Some of it was my fault. I see that now. You know what I mean? Like, there's always going to be a chance of something going wrong. And if you let that stop you, you're never going to go anywhere. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I keep saying that. So, like, with this company, like, I'm jumping full on in. Full on in. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You know, just full in and I'm just gonna go for it and you know what if I fall on my face I fall on my face at this point what do you do hey Natalie you know there's no harm in trying and failing that's how you learn so the next time you join a company and you know exactly what you did wrong at the last one don't do that you know you could you guys can find success anywhere at any time thank you Charlotte Yes, Charlotte, exactly. At least you tried and failed and lived your life instead of living in a little box having not lived your life at all. All right? All right. I read that last night. It spoke to me. I wrote notes about it, and I was thinking about it all this morning. But when I get on here, it's like brain fart. So hopefully it made sense. If not, whoops. So anyway, I'm going to take me and my uneven eyebrows off of here, and I got to go do some stuff. So I love you guys. Have a good Sunday. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. All right? Bye.